<laughs> so Shaquille O'Neal uh, reaches out to Reggie the Rat Wright Jr. Uh, for using his name in a defamatory manner about how Shaq allegedly got ran out of L.A. Shaquille O'Neal didn't get ran out of L.A. Let's get into some of this straight game. It's not what you dealt, but how you play it. Remember they used to laugh at a brother Welcome back guys, welcome back It's your boy Delray Richardson, platinum artist, platinum songwriter Straight Game TV Thank you for tuning in, I appreciate your time Do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button As it uh, pushes the uh, content out to potential subscribers And the people who are already subscribed to the channel uh, Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yourself Tell a friend, but most importantly um, like I always say, if you want to be one of the first people notified when I drop some of this straight game, uh, please do me a favor and uh, hit the bell notification uh, right below this video. I'm going to get right into it. Ladies and gentlemen, I I'm going to say this and I'm going to say this because this is public information. Um, there was a video made recently uh, by Reggie the Rat Wright Jr., Right. Um, in regards to Shaquille O'Neal being ran up out of L.A. For some alleged extortion plot or something like that. Right. Ladies and gentlemen. Unless you just want to hear somebody talk bad about somebody who's successful. Right. You would have lent no credibility. No common sense. Uh, no truth whatsoever. To the statement that was made by Reggie the Rat Wright Jr. Let me let me explain this to you. It is public knowledge that when Shaquille O'Neal left Los Angeles, that he was traded to the Miami Heat. That's public knowledge. So I guess whoever had some kind of whatever they had went to the Lakers organization and say, look, you better trade Shaq. Well, I'm, I'm going. Didn't happen. Once again, I knew I didn't even see the video, the whole video. I knew when he used uh, they used Shaquille O'Neal's name over there on bomb first that it was a lie. I didn't even have to even I'm like this guy. He, it, it, it's it's nothing that he won't do in order to try to get views and clicks off of using celebrities names. It was J-Lo. It's Shaquille O'Neal now. And all of these other people that he continues to try to use to get clicks because he has no story of his own to tell. And it's a shame. So much so that Reggie the Rat Wright Jr. alleged that Shaquille O'Neal, him or somebody in his uh, uh, entourage or crew representative or whatever, I take it. He say, OK, Shaquille O'Neal, we don't know that that's true until we hear from Shaq himself. Because he could be lying about that too. This is the thing that happens when you lie so much. Right? Listen. So he says that Shaq calls him up and, 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 and basically says that Shaq says to him that, yo, I'm disappointed in you. Why would Shaquille O'Neal call you up if you're telling the truth about something? There's no need to call you up. There's no need to reach out. Because basically what you're saying is true. That's like me saying that when we were at the uh, Chris Tucker after party and I'm lying about Dr. Dre, you know, me and him leaving the bill. That's like Dre calling me up and saying, yeah, you know, X, Y, and Z and getting me to offer some kind of retraction. The only time that you offer a, a, a retraction from something is based on the fact that what you said before or the story that you told before was not true. And you had no knowledge of what that was or what that is. Right. But even in trying to offer a retraction, Reggie was slick about it. You know, and, and, and that's my way of offering a retraction. Newspapers offer retractions when they get the story wrong. When they're not telling the truth. But once again, it's the same old tactic 
the retraction never gets as much attention as the lie being told the first time. You get it? This is what Reggie the Rat Wright Jr. does. He lies. And then if he's called out on the lie, he'll offer some kind of fake, insincere apology as to that lie, right? After he's already eaten off the lie. Meaning, getting views, clicks, and likes, right? He's done it on numerous occasions. This guy even went on Camp Capone. And because Camp Capone asked him a question about the Dr. Dre, uh, Chris Tucker incident at the after party that he had lied about, like he was right there and seen everything that happened when he didn't, right? He had the nerve to insinuate that me and Dr. Dre had some kind of relationship other than two men being men. This is what he does. And it's sad. I'm, I'm just I just wonder. I'm wondering, like, who are these are these real subscribers over there, man? Because anybody that's sitting back listening to that, man, you got to have a tinfoil hat on. I mean, it, it, it's it, yeah, man. Yeah, man. When 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 Shaquille, if Shaquille O'Neal actually reached out to Reggie, Shaquille O'Neal, Shaq was mad and upset about the fact that Reggie had told a lie. Not only did he tell a lie, but he told a lie using his name. That's the reason why you would, you would do that. Any real dude, you know, you use his name and you telling lies and, you know, making these inaccurate statements. And Shaq got millions of dollars in investments and, and you know, businesses and people that he hire and all that. You can't just say anything like that about Shaquille O'Neal without the people that he dealing with and doing business with. Somebody giving him a call. Hey, hey Shaq, you know, uh, you know, I, I don't know about whoever this guy Reggie Wright Jr. is. Uh, uh, but he's on, you know, YouTube saying some stuff about, you know, that you and, you know, and they're getting back to Shaq like that. See, this is what people are not really paying attention to when when Reggie does this. You understand what I'm saying? And so therefore, in him coming back out and offering a retraction in regards to what that was, that was the reason why he did it. He tried to make it say, oh, Shaq, cool, you know, <laughs> yeah, that's my man. Nah, uh-uh. That's that's no that that's uncool. And Shaq wasn't cool with that. That's why if he reached out to you, that's why he reached out to you. You using that man name. You're, you're, you're basically, um, you know, you know, putting dirt on that man's name based on some rumor that's not true in any way, shape or form. And that's that's dangerous. You know what I mean? You can't do that to people. You can't be mentioning people's name about something that you don't really have no knowledge about. And then when they call you on it, yeah, you got to go and offer a retraction because that's tantamount to defamation. You're defaming me by associating my name with something frivolous. That's the reason what why Shaq called him. And that's what he did when he used Shaquille O'Neal's name. But you got a lot of people over there like, yeah, Shaq, you know, Shaq, a real one. You know, and, and he offered this thing talking about how, um, you know, somebody would have got the wrong impression and ran up on Shaq and told Shaq about something about how he got ran up out of L.A. Based on what? Based on the lie that Reggie Wright just told about Shaquille O'Neal. Do you get it? Two plus two has always been four. This is simple mathematics. That's the reason why Reggie was lying. He used Shaq's name in a defamatory way. Shaq gave him a call, basically saying, hey, yo, look, you know, and, and all of these business ventures, the general insurance, all of these, uh, 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 the printers and all of these commercials and endorsements Shaq got. That's all he need is one of them the reporters to pick up this story with his name in it, saying that's the reason why he left L.A. And it could possibly cost him millions of dollars. But only real businessmen and real respectable men think like that. Would be knowledgeable of a situation like that and be keen not to do that or, or mention somebody's name in that manner. But not Reggie the Rat Wright Jr. He will say anything to try to get you to view the channel that they over there spewing that garbage. Right. 
He will say anything. It doesn't even matter. And for a lot of low-level thinking people, right, who think that that's some form of, or shape of entertainment, they go right along with it. It's a damn shame, man. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. So I say that to say all of the things that you've been hearing that Reggie has been saying about certain people, you know, a lot of it, 95% of it, of it is lies. It's just straight out lies fabrications you can hear him mention somebody's name and say something and then immediately after he says that he'll say you know well i don't really know you know what, what that was about you know like the harry o situation there's a video there's a video in regards to harry o giving uh, or, or investing the money in death row there is a video when when uh i believe they were at chasen's right Chasen's of money. I think it was Chasen's though, in Beverly Hills. They have this thing, and David Kenner is on tape, basically saying, "We want to thank Harry O and a bunch of other people." When it came to Dave Kenner, he toasted the man who made it all responsible, Harry O. The label started with uh, Dr. Dre who was going to do his own thing, and uh, with a lot of help from Suge Knight and uh, Harry O and a number of people, and we got it all together. And that's on tape, and the FBI confiscated that from me. If Harry O facilitated in any kind of shape, fashion, or form, because he was in prison, like I said, he had long tentacles. You know what I mean? He could reach out. How many people you know right now from, from, from in prison can reach out and get anybody to get anybody a half a mil or a million dollars or 1.2 or 1.5? That means your arm's strong, playboy. You know what I mean? That means you're Armstrong, you're highly respected, and you're well-connected, period. So to say anything other than what the truth is from that perspective would be irresponsible. But not Reggie the Rat Wright Jr. He don't think so. He'll speak on it as if he know it. I, I done been around it. No, 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 no. That situation happened before you even came into the picture. You wasn't at death row then. You wasn't security then when, when Harry O came through with that dough. You, you weren't around then. So to act as if he knows now, right, the Monday morning quarterback move, oh, I know because I was, nah, uh uh To lie about Shaq and some information using that man name in a defamatory uh, manner. And then Shaq call you, allegedly call you. Like I said, we don't really know if that's true until we hear from Shaq himself. But you got to understand what's going on. You know what I mean? Me and Dr. Dre got some kind of relationship or something like that. Come on, man. Are you kidding me? But he'll say it just to try to get views. Now, he ain't got nothing else going for himself right now. What else he got going for himself? You know, he talk about, oh, my music, oh, my music, my music banging. I own it. The copyrights, all that. Publishing, all that. Still get checks for it, too. You see the plaques on the wall. Stop it. You see what I'm saying? Like I said, and then, the, as a matter of fact, the, the cold part about the game is the people over there on Bomb First know they lying. They know they lying. But they still over there. It's like you can pull the wool over their eyes. Look. And, and even so much so, even on his birthday, he can solicit people for money. You know, you, yeah, you, you know it's your boy Red's birthday, you know. Y'all might want to send me something in my cash app. Grown men don't do that. Real hustlers don't do that. Stand-up dudes don't do that. So that no, that lets you know that he's cut from a different cloth. Yeah, he cut from a different cloth. Real men don't do that. Like I say, at the end of the day. So when you talk about everything that's going on, because I see he can't, he constantly mentions my name, right? And talk about what I got, what I'm making. He don't know nothing about me. Absolutely, positively nothing. And I'm going to add this and I'm going to let y'all go. Reggie the Rat Wright Jr. mentioned my name first. He did a video about me first. So when you come, when people come and they like, yeah, hey, you using Reggie's name. No, 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 no. Reggie used my name first. He actually used my copyrighted content in which I could have copyright claimed him, but I didn't because I'm cut different. You know what I mean? I know how to come back with these facts, man, and, uh, you know, and, and really make you feel uh, uh, what you're supposed to feel from these facts. I ain't got to tell no lies. 
I ain't trying to boost myself up. Yeah, Reggie, post that check that you was talking about, that, that one that you said from the company that didn't make no money. Post that one. We need to see it. Since you posted one for $115 and then tried to lie about that and said John post a, a, a gullible John post the wrong check. Post the real one. Po prove, prove that you a liar again. I, I, I didn't make no money from uh, 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 Simon Says. You know, uh, I never made no money from that. But I'm glad Snoop and them got the paperwork so they know what's going on. You ain't getting no money from Snoop. You lying. Then all of a sudden, it's the wrong check. Everything's redacted but that $115. That was so funny. I'm like, wow. Who does this, man? Who does this? But like I said, you know. You know, when you don't have a life of your own, any kind of career, any kind of know-how, any kind of knowledge outside of just gossiping about other people's life, using their name to try to uh, uh, gain clicks and views, using their name in a defamatory manner so much so that they give you a call, they allegedly give you a call. Yeah, that's when you know you're headed down the wrong road. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, your boy Delray. Straight game.